you know, this whole concept of our image of God gets in the way so many times of becoming closer to God. And I found uh, as a spiritual director that often that image of God that we have now is the one that we grew up with as children. We haven't really looked at it very much to see whether it's getting in the way for us. So do you have any examples of how that image of God has uh, affected your trust or your faith? Or? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I grew up in an environment including Catholic grade school where the expectations were fairly high. Mm -hmm. And because of my personality, the way I learned to cope with that growing up was to exceed people's expectations, figure out what they wanted, and then go higher than that so they couldn't criticize me. And uh, that worked pretty well for me in the first half of my life. I got pretty good at it. Uh, it didn't work so well in the second half of my life. But um, it led to my seeing God, though, as a taskmaster. Mm -hmm. That's something I woke up to in spiritual direction that... Um, God felt to me like uh, when things are difficult, like God is saying, well, jump through this hoop, and if you didn't, oh, well, you, how about this one? That's not quite good enough. Try this. Mm -hmm. um, and that's who God was. And um, most recently, um, we sold, Julie and I sold our home when we found out that she'd been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, as an example. This still comes back into my adult life, even though I know that's the image of God I can fall into. And a lot of things went wrong. The furnace went went out uh, in the middle of us trying to sell our house and something else happened and mm -hmm. it just sometimes can feel overwhelming mm -hmm. and then I start assuming I have to fix it all and that it's God that's creating all these problems mm -hmm. saying you jump through that mm -hmm. hoop not, not quite good enough you better jump through that one mm -hmm. so uh, to heal that image of God is to for me is to go back into my memory of childhood my earliest memories of of, um, of that experience of feeling like I had to jump through hoops and what I mean, feeling, can, can you identify the feeling that comes yeah, up? Yeah, it's like anger and resentment. Anger and resentment. Yeah, <clears throat> and frustration mm -hmm. and about the expectations. And to um, heal those images in my earliest years of being a child, remembering myself as, and experiencing myself as little Tommy mm -hmm. uh, as he's having those experiences. And that I, uh, one of my favorite images is to be in the treehouse in the backyard where I grew mm -hmm. up with God. Oh, that's uh, great. Sitting in God's lap mm -hmm. and realizing God's not a taskmaster. This mm -hmm. is just my made-up image of who God is. Mm -hmm. So you and God have a little secret handshake and all that? Like yes. That, oh, the secret decoder ring. Decoder ring. Yes. Oh, that's right. great. Right. Mm, that's great. Mm -hmm. What a great image to go to even as an adult when you mm -hmm. start feeling angry. God exactly. like, oh, let's go up to the treehouse and just have some fun. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's really nice. Even at 58, that helps. That helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.